Hello everyone, this is Verity aka Avalon. Um, today I'm bringing you along with me as I build Nook's Cranny. Um, I had quite a strong idea, which I tend to have. Um, I just suddenly get a burst of inspiration and I wondered what would happen if Nook's drop-off box was full. Because you're supposed to be able to drop anything off and here by literally anything. So I thought, right, what happens if it goes wild and free and let's just dump everything. So <laughs> that was the premise of my build. So yeah, come along, see what happens. In case you're not already aware, this is a no terraforming island. Um, very occasionally I do have to do minor edits in order to put bridges and inclines up. But on this occasion it was just perfect. So yeah, just a heads up in case you didn't already know, no terraforming unless I really absolutely have to. I'm really curious to know if anyone else has had this problem with designs where they overstep the boundary. I've never encountered this before except for this design, so yeah, obviously I ended up not using it. Uh, really annoying actually. Yeah, anyone let me know in the comments. I realised I didn't have a shovel and the default one in my shop is pink and I flatly refused to have pink so I customised it just to get rid of the pink. I just wanted to do a shout out to KB because I really love this track. Um, you can use it copyright free for your YouTube videos. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to grab it yourself. Um, but it's by KB and it's called Split.
if you're wondering why I keep stepping around the utility pole, it's because I've got a pipe at the back of the shop and I want to make sure I'm not trapped. So I keep walking around it and moving to make sure that when I use the pipe, I can actually exit from the back of the shop. At this stage I get really caught up in the details and in fact the clutter becomes too cluttered so I actually really scale it back believe it or not um, and then later on I do actually go back in and add a couple items um, because it was just too empty then so yeah but I do step back quite a lot and then just you know get a really wide view from the other end and keep going back so it looks aesthetically pleasing even though it's meant to be a mess. Just pointing out here this is where I take the step back and I go back and forth and back and forth but it really helps me to look it's an artist thing when I'm actually doing a painting I do the very same thing I take a walk back and I have a really good look and I see what's working what's not working so it's a real editing stage as well as adding stuff in but yeah so this is what I'm doing in case you wonder why I keep walking around aimlessly it's not aimless
one final walkthrough, but that is the end of the build. Um, I'm really pleased with how messy it looks, but it's obviously very controlled mess. But yeah, I really like it. It was just so much fun. It's so out of what I'd normally do. I just don't do messy, but it was just, it was a free for all and I loved it. Um, yeah, I added some more items in, which you can see in these photos. Um, I just really, I love those little areas. They're so much fun to do because you can only add very limited area. You don't want to look cluttered, even though that is the point. But yeah, I really love doing this build. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Um, yeah, maybe you got some ideas from how to make a mess look aesthetically pleasing. Now I'll leave you with some photos I took um, after I'd added further items. Um, yeah, so you can get an idea of how obsessive I am and a perfectionist, even when I'm making a mess. Yeah, have a look. That's the end of the video. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, and if you want to see more content from me, please support me with a like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification button if you want to find out when I've done a new video. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.